My name is Leonard Cornelis. I'm a system performance scientist at Unitron. I've been at Unitron almost 10 years. The inspiration behind the SoundNav classifier really comes from our experience with previous products and the limitations in the speech and noise classification. Uh, because really, speech and noise changes depending on the situation. So you can imagine, for instance, a small coffee shop where there's maybe a few people talking in the background or a, a very busy, crowded restaurant. Well, those are two very different examples of speech and noise. And the conversation classifier tends to dive into that a bit more and separate out those situations. A listening situation is not a static situation. It, it's dynamic. It has uh, things that change and, uh, and uh, the combination of sound nav and sound conductor have to change to, to respond to that but at the same time uh, change in such a way that it's not obtrusive or invasive for the listener so that it seems natural. Sound nav, the classification component, is, is a very mixed type classification. So, so um, in a particular situation, you're in speech and noise, but what type of speech and noise is that? Well, it could be more like small group, or it could be more like crowd, or it could be somewhere in between. And, and so sound nav tells you where you are. Sound conductor then uh, manages the uh, strength of the signal processing so that you get the right mix of signal processing for that environment. And equally important, it manages transitions. It's very refreshing because we've been able to take some early concepts that we had and actually implement them in the platform and, and observe how they work. And probably the most rewarding part in all this is, is just how amazing the hearing aids sound. They have such incredible natural sound quality. So this, this project has been particularly rewarding. The, the combination of sound nav and sound conductor I think are a unique offering in the industry. And it really focuses on the areas that Unitron feels are important, but also that I feel are important. The, the issue is dealing with speech and noise and situations that hearing impaired people have difficulty listening in. And speech and noise isn't a single type of environment, it's really um, multiple different scenarios and, and we can manage those scenarios in a way that uh, sounds natural across all of those environments. Um, it's been particularly rewarding for me uh, because this is an area that I have a strong interest in and a strong desire to make the situation better.